When you first meet Diana on the island, she's about five, six, and she is this curious little girl who's very courageous, who's very uh, sassy and naughty, and she wants to, she's very inspired by her aunt, and she wants to learn how to fight. Uh, but she's being very sheltered and very protected by her mother, who does not allow her to do so. But she finds her ways, and um, she has this spark in her. She's, she's, she has this fire in her eyes, and, and she eventually she gets her way. Queen Hippolyta has raised Diana to adhere to a very strong set of values, to a very important set of ideas, almost to a fault. Because in that moment that Diana needs to become herself, become an adult, that's also the moment she has to go out and test those ideas. And that's the moment that Queen Hippolyta loses her daughter. The sister of the queen who I play, you, you want to be able to adhere to the law, and the law is be ethical, and be honest, and forthright, and do as your sister demands. But in this instance, I think Antiope has a sixth sense that war is ensuing, and we need to prepare the young. Even though Wonder Woman had been around since the 50s, I was around in this wonderful renaissance of Wonder Woman because of the show. So Wonder Woman was like the thing to be, you know? That, that was it, it's like your fantasy of everything great you could ever aspire to being beautiful and strong and kind and, you know, exciting and stylish and all of those things, so I, I was, I was always attracted to the character as soon as I ever heard about her. The beauty of what Gal has is that she is physically very imposing. She's stunning. She's like six feet tall. She's super strong, uh, kind of emotionally, and her presence is very captivating. But she also, at the same time, has this beautiful um, spirit to her that's, that's very, uh, and I know she hates me saying this, but it's like, it's not childlike, but it's very open and warm and inviting. And um, uh, she's got a wonderful maternal quality to her and um, a, a deep kind of love for the world. And that is very much this kind of juxta juxtaposition of Diana and Wonder Woman in this film. The beautiful thing about Wonder Woman is that she's, so diverse and she's so many things and she's everything. She, she can be vulnerable and sensitive and the greatest warrior ever and strong and confident and confused. Like she can be all of the above. I suppose her shock being an outsider is, uh, is to see us humans mankind uh, behave the way that we do. And, and it's kind of fascinating to see the world through her eyes as a, as a, as a comment on, on us. It's a very modern telling of this story. Um, it's beautifully rendered. Um, uh, and it has a pretty wonderfully, beautifully transparent message of that no matter how ugly this world gets, that we live in, no matter how much death we encounter, no matter how many homicidal dictators are out there, no matter how much genocide happens, no matter how many wars happen, uh, there is still hope in the best parts of ourselves to be good and to protect one another and to do right by one another. That's what we should hold on to, and that's what she represents.